Hey guys, Star Wars Talk on FBV, and I'm getting ready to do a um, some work on a Cadex. Just uh, this one was sent in and said that uh, it wasn't working. There was no OSD, but actually, by the end of the whole thing, it looked like it had a bad board. It looked like there was some water damage in there. So the customer did finally approve to just go ahead and replace the board. So we're going to do that real quickly. See if that takes the care of the problem. So I'm going to replace the top board first. See if that's what does it. And if it does, then great and if not then we'll end up having to check the bottom board so it's going to be a process of elimination but there was definitely a sign of some sort of water damage on here um, it looked like water had gotten into this but and there's there's like there's there's like there's just residue there's just like a green tint residue all around this doesn't look very good so anyways um, you gave me that board right babe yeah, so okay now I gotta find it I don't know where I put it just to... Oh, I see it. Okay, yeah. So here's a new board that we're going to try. So let's see if we can get this to work. Okay. Um, let me leave that just like that. Put the screws back on. But uh, just to hold it in place. I'm not going to close it all up yet because I don't know if I'm done or not. So what I can tell you is that this would not get out of red mode. Like, I mean, like when the, when the bind light was just stuck in red, it never switched to green. So we have our test um, board right here. Okay, this is what I use to test all of these things. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a shot here real quick. Got my soldering iron turned on. Get our flux pen out. Get ready to solder this. Then I'll get my goggles and we'll test it and see if we've got any success here. All right, so let's do that. Soldering iron's almost heated up all the way. Okay. tin those real quick just very easily tin them and I'll come over here make sure that we have all our pads all our pads tin properly so we test this so let's go ahead and put the ground first thing I want to do is just make sure we can get the power up properly okay so there's that Smoke stopper. Okay, so we have our red light. Now let's see if we can get to a green light this time. So that being said, now we've got to troubleshoot and see. You, oh, yeah, you left me the bottom boards? Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is flip this around and put the original top board. Actually, let me just change the bottom board out right now while I'm doing this. Make sure we can get that to work.
here. Got the screws for my stuff in this little bin. I'm just going to, without putting any extra spaces in here, we're just going to see if we can get a, a light to come on. So here it goes. I'm just going to hold this out like that. Okay, we got the red light again. Okay, we do have a green light, so the bottom board is definitely a problem. Now what we need to do is verify if the top board was the problem. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disconnect this here. I'm going to put this top board back. Let me see this top board. I think that would be good enough for testing only. I wouldn't leave it like this for very long, but just for testing, I want to see. And I don't think anything's in the risk of grounding, so shorting out. So let's just check it out. Okay, we've got it on. Let's watch the red light. Well, we got green, so it may be that the bottom board needed to be replaced, not the top board. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put this back together the way it should be. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let me see. I always get these parts mixed up, so let me just make sure I don't mess this up. It is very strange to me, though, that this piece has no... Where am I with this? Now I'm getting all mixed up. So we have that, that. So this is my bottom piece that goes back. Boy, here's where I get all goofed up. And that's why. All right, so I got these. There we go. Now,
go ahead and get the OSD connected. Get green. Looking for there's our green light, so that's the first thing we need. Should be binding now. Let's go ahead. Yep. We have our OSD. 15.5 volts is what it's showing. Perfect. This is done. Problem solved. So we're good to go. So we're going to turn this off now. He actually needed the bottom board, not the top board. So um, we're good to go with this one. So I'm just going to put the screws back in now. And we're done. Side, turn the goggles off and get this gentleman back his setup. So he needed the bottom board. So this is his damaged bottom board. dropped one of the screws, so I'll use mine. That's fine. No big deal. Okay. Hey, Sam. Yeah. You took that new top board out? Yeah. Well, where's the Vista? Because the top board wasn't needed, so I want to put it back. Yeah. Well, okay, but I mean, like, I could put a new Vista back together. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But the bottom is what he needed. So just grab me a bottom. Oh, okay. I guess I guess that's the way to do it. Because this one's bad. His bottom board is bad. Okay. His top board's fine. So. So the, the top board can go back onto this guy right here. Okay, so let me put that one back. This is his bad one. Okay. Um, and he's done. Okay. So you, you can take it. That one right there, yeah. Uh, and this is his cable. That box is mine though, right? That FPV Caddx? Yes. Okay. Um, where's the cable that came with that? 
It would be in that bag. It says bottom. Oh, okay. So it's right here. All right. No, it's okay. still done. Uh, but let me go ahead and just. All right, so I'll just stop it there. All right, guys, so that was it. He needed a bottom board replacement. I thought it was the top board replacement because it had what looked like all the damage on it. But at the end of the day, it was the bottom one. So he's good to go. I'm going to put this Vista back together there because we've actually got a good Vista here. And that'll be the end. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Please, as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I would really appreciate it. Um, and other than that, God bless. Be safe and have a great weekend. It's Friday, March 25th. Tomorrow is my son's birthday. He turns 15. And at the same time, he and Ashton are on the same T-ball. Or not T-ball. Oh, my God. Uh, same, I know, I'm sorry. Same flag football team, and I'm their coach. So tomorrow's our first game, too. Hey, pipe it! <laughs> so anyways, so it's going to be a big day tomorrow. And then my son, Landon, or Jaden, he's playing on his first uh, flag football team. Although I'm not the coach for that team, but I'm going to be out there to watch them all. So it's going to be a great weekend, guys. God bless. Be safe. Go have fun with your family. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.